So moving on, let's talk about some basic statistical concepts and methods. Uh, one of these, we always encounter this, and this is what we are always concerned about, is the variable. A variable is a characteristic or information of interest that is observable or measurable from every individual or object under consideration. So let's have an example. Let's take a social weather station survey. We are, you are familiar with this, the SWS surveys that um, are often mentioned during uh, newscasts, news telecasts. So in a and in an SWS survey, a total of 1,200 adult Filipinos were interviewed. They were randomly selected from NCR, or National Capital Region. Then we have Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. From that survey, for in particular, we can take uh, the survey done on February 13, 2012. Um, the report came out on this date, but the survey was done fourth quarter of 2011. So if you know the date is uh, when the report came out, came at a time where you would expect people to just think about love and Valentine's Day. So the results from that survey says... 68% of adult Filipinos would not change their religion in the name of love, while 31% would. So here, this is a description of what Filipinos' willingness to change their religion in the name of love. Now that is your variable in this particular finding. Let's take a look at another one. From that survey, it, the findings show that when it comes to love, 54% of Filipinos would follow their heart, while 45% would follow their mind. So, you can tell what we are measuring here already, and what we are measuring is the variable. Okay, let's look at another one. Unwillingness to change the religion in the name of love is strongest among Muslims, with 56% who would definitely not change. So again, to determine the variable, we look for the answer to the question, what were we measuring when we came out with this finding? If you answered unwillingness to change religion in the name of love, then you are correct. Okay, let's look at another one. Following one's heart rather than mind over ma matters of love is more prevalent among Filipinos in a relationship than those who are single. So in this particular finding, you can you can identify several variables like following one's heart and then there's also the variable of whether you are in a relationship or you are single. All right, so I hope you're getting the hang of this. Let's have another one. It says here, however, there are slightly more of the older 55 years old and above Filipinos who would follow their mind than heart. So here you can easily see that one of the variables is age. Okay, so moving on. So on the surface, measurement may appear simple. Okay, from that example, uh, because 
a variable is as a measure as a measurement of something no, of a characteristic has several properties and one of them is objective properties when you say objective properties we are talking about physically verifiable characteristics we can count them we can see them we can determine the shape and things like that but there are variables that are measured in such a way that uh, captures subjective properties. You see, good if we always have objective properties in our variables. But the thing is, it's not always like that. Like, for example, when, we, when our var variable is love, how, the intensity of love, we cannot physically verify these, char these characteristics. So there's this characteristic rather. So we are referring for some variables, we are um, referring to subjective, to their subjective properties. And when we say subjective, we are talking about unobservable and intangible characteristics. These cannot be directly observed because they are mental constructs. They are just in our minds. So in a way you could say they are abstract concepts. But the more appropriate term to describe subjectivity in terms of properties of variables that they cannot be observed such as you could uh, with objective properties they are intangible they cannot be directly observed so in this case when you have variables that have subjective properties the researcher must ask a respondent to translate his or her mental constructs into a continuum of intensity i tell you it's not an easy task to do this the researcher must develop question formats that are very clear and that are used identically by the respondents. When you come up with these questions, you are doing scale development. 